Greatest Poet Alive, Jimmy, James, or my personal favorite, Andy the Barber, which is an inside joke. They're all the same person. Yes, we are talking about author, poet, thespian, and hardworking man. That man is James Gordon, and this is James Gordon, The Revenge of the GPA. Welcome to the Author's Corner with A.C. Campbell. Join us as we take a tour around the literary industry with interviews and features within and throughout the industry. And now, the show. A.C. Campbell on your host on this journey with James Gordon on this special Authors Corner. I met James around 2010 to 2011 and we've been friends ever since. But when I first met him, his career was already taking off as GPA, the greatest poet alive. Back then, I used slides but you could hear the fire and passion in his voice. It's when he reads your poem is when you know it's James Gordon. Back when he did live shows, he drew large crowds. He's one of the few poets who can freestyle their poetry. Here's an example of one of the poems he read for me. Ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, something special. I'm currently on a Zoom interview with my man, H.D. Campbell, and we're wrapping up, and he asked me to do a poem. The same way a uh, beautiful woman I know named Nick, she would ask me always, you got to do a poem, you got to do a poem. So uh, this poem's for you. This poem's for my friend uh, on his show, for all the listeners, everybody tuning in. And this poem's for you. I got to tell you, I got to tell you the truth. Some days feel real dark and overcast, and man, I don't even want to go outside, but I realize and if I stayed inside, if I stayed secluded, if I made myself a misanthrope, passionate misanthropic, misanthropic endeavors, I would never be able to come around you and be around you. So, this home's for you. Sort of a thank you, expression of gratitude. Okay, sprinkled with icing of affection because I think the world of you, I think you're beautiful, I think you're awesomely amazing, and I wanted to recite this poem to you. It's Monday. More than likely, I'm your man crush. I don't blame you. I'm mine as well. But you're my woman crush. So I figured I'd tell you this poem's for you. I don't have to wait till Wednesday to tell you that you're my woman crush because, well, who knows how the world works? Who knows how life works? So I'll tell you now. I think of you often. I think of you more frequent than often. I think of you with the frequency that's more often than often. I hope that makes sense. I hope that's not overkill. I just want to let you know that, well, you got a place on my mind. All of it, underneath the ball head, for, after, middle thoughts. Come out of my speech, because this poem is for you. Sitting here kicking it with my man, H.D. Campbell. You probably figured out this is off the top of my head. Never been written, never been said, and it'll probably be never written or said again, so capture it in time, because I wanted to recite this poem for you, because it's special. And I'm not just saying that because, well, you smell great, you look great, you... <laughs> Never mind, but I'm saying you're special because you're special. You bring the light when a lot of times the melancholy wants to rain. You bring the light when darkness, not this darkness, but when darkness has wanted to rain on my parade and such and not let it go. You've shown your light on me. So this poem is for you. You are awesomely amazing. And I think you're just wonderful. And thank you for coming into my life. It's my poem, Jim, Act Pat. Shout out to H.G. Campbell. Shout out to Nick. Thank you very much, brother. Peace. When we return, we find it with all heroes, there has to be an evolution. J. 
game GPA Gordon is no exception. But first, let's see what others think about the game for. Welcome to Sassy's Shirt Shop, where quality meets professional meets fun. If you need a t-shirt for your events, your business, your sports teams, and more, Sassy's Shirt Shop has the designs for you. We accommodate t-shirts, sweatshirts, and jackets of all sizes, all events, all specific to your needs. Ordering is easy. You can place your orders over the phone at 314-229-7163 for a quote. You can email Sassy at sassyshirtshop at gmail.com or you can log on to her website at www.sassychurchshop.com where she can also do custom merchandising as well as cups and ball caps. What can Sassy Thomas design for you? Let her know and find out. See you soon. Whatever, but I'm talking about people who, no matter what, they're with you. I've got some great people who are with me who, when I was away behind the fence, they believed, they kept my head up, they, you know, and then when I was starting, when I've been, when I didn't have, like, money and I needed to get somewhere to perform or something, and they looked out for me because they believe. So... I owe, I look at it like that, and I owe, and I like owing that, because that means that there are no days off for me. There, there's no, once I get a chance to stand in front of my form, they're going to get, they're going to get everything for me that they're supposed to get. I'm not going to give half-assed performances. I'm not going to sell who I am. You won't get a, a crappy book for me, because, you know, someone may not like it, and that's fine, but they won't be able to say too much bad about it. Um, but I just, I just got to go. Because I want the people who believed in me, believed, believed in me, present tense, to know that their faith wasn't wasted. You know, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I kind of I kind of just go. Welcome back. Just know that I've had several other conversations with the greatest poet alive outside of poetry and found out we have some pretty good details in common. Many I love of understanding of comic books and the comic book genre. His favorite is Batman, and with a name like James Gordon, I truly understand. It shows the divine deepness that makes him a deep author. And throughout his career, he's published several books, like his mad shit. A few of his books include Return of the Orgasm, Repression's Gone, The Book of 24 Orgasms, Angela's Box, Children's book, Here Comes Bobo and Scoops. These books and more can be found on Amazon.com and other places. This is a humble man who owes so many people for their support, so he diligently worked day and night with no days off. His words, not mine, but like James Brown, James Gordon gave every indication that he hadn't planned on sewing down. I don't. So someone shows me that that's what they're on, I don't believe that because GPA is what they see and what the, where the electricity comes from and what they um, what brought them to. So, you know. See what they want. Yeah, man, it, it, it's something, bro. It, it is something. Right. They want, the, <laughs> they want their secret identity pretty much. I mean, they don't they don't want to know secret identity. They want to know the superhero pretty much. So yeah, I, I believe I believe the super. It, it's just like you know what's like, and I'm not saying because I'm a Batman guy more than I'm a Superman guy. I, I am. I'm a huge Batman guy. Cool. But it's, I it's am like, too. <laughs> it's like Lois Lane was for Superman, and depending on what cartoon you watch, depending on what TV show you watch, then she got to know Clark, and then once found out the other thing, then it was cool. But she was always. For Superman, you know, if you look at certain things, it's always Superman. And I think that's similar. I think 
GPA. Now there are women who knew me before I was through the GPA and what have you. So that's a different, that's a different look on it. So that really doesn't qualify. But I'm talking about when people see me and they see me shining and they wear something or what have you. It's it's me, and then they, I think that's just the thing to say. To say, you know, I really wanna, I really wanna know. But until someone like I had a woman who who kind of showed me like, hey, that she was on the regular guy more so than. The, um, I was about to say the star. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. <laughs> I understand. Truly understand. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> but, um, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, that's kind of cool. But it's wild, man. It's all it's all cool, though, because my brother lectures me all things to do. Um, don't be shocked because women... Uh, fall in love with you or, or dig you. He said, only because you, you, you're a gentleman. He said, you, you, you're a gentleman and then you speak to their heart. They don't, no one talks to them like that. You know, no one talks to them like that. So. What kind of advice can you give any new poets who are trying to get into your position? <laughs> um, the way you phrased that question was really good because I'm sitting here, the, the answer I want, you know what, forget it. Listen, um, <laughs> this, here's the advice I can give for anybody trying to come from where I'm at. Just do it. There's room for everybody to be the best. And see, I know it's going to throw somebody and say, what do you mean there's room for everybody to be the best? Well, this isn't the NFL or the NBA where there's a championship. So, and, and it's subjective. Every day I think I'm the best for writing or performing. I believe that. Every day. I go to bed like that, I wake up like that, I walk around my city like that. You're supposed to think the same, no matter what city you're in, no matter what part of the world you're in, whatever. You're supposed to think you're the best. So start with that, number one. Number two, which you can easily be, number one, be yourself. Don't, uh, one of the things that I'm really not cool with is when people do so much mimicking. Yeah, you pick up some things from someone else, uh, something they talk about or what have you, but the whole mimicking of the way someone talks or they speak or whatever, that's not what's up, because it's not you. So you be you. If, you. if you like doing, I remember I told a young man that, he said, man, people give me a uh, thing if I want to do erotica, what should I do? I said, do erotica. Mm-hmm. I said, cool. if, if that's what you feel and you like doing and you enjoy it, do a rock. Now, if somebody comes to you and says they're going to pay you $1,000 to, to write something else, well, then you write something else if you want to get the $1,000. But as far as everything else, you do what you want to do. Absolutely. And you don't go away from that. Um, so you, you got to be yourself and just write and try some of everything. You know, don't, don't just get stuck to them. I mean, it's easy to write free verse. A lot of people, they get to writing free verse, and that's all they know how to write. When we come back, I'll have more footage and a poem. But before we go to break, here's another one of our colleagues with a message for James. Everybody, I was asked to say some, some words regarding Mr. James Gordon, Mr. Uh, franchise. Uh, AKA GPA. So, uh, I don't know, I don't have no words. Oh yeah, I do. Wait a minute, I have some words. Black is word. He is so black, you have to call him 1201 because he's too black to be midnight. <laughs> no, 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 seriously. Um, on this note, this guy, I first met him uh, at, I believe, the table read. Uh, I guess he'd known Fat for a while. And at the table read, he did a poem. And I'm like, oh, that was that was dope. That, that, that's nice. And his charisma and his character was loud to me. So when I got this idea for Clarity, I said, okay, well, the only way that this is that I would even accept doing this is if he can be in it as this one individual so believe it or not this whole script was written with this guy in mind to play this one specific part that's how much this guy's character 
is is just loud. You know, he's an awesome guy. You know, uh, tough. Y'all can say he's tough. Y'all can say he's tough because he lifts weights. But I know that deep down, all the muscles behind all the muscles, he's soft. He's not soft, soft, but he cares. He's a loving guy. So with that being said. Y'all better get y'all. That's all I like to say. I got my autograph. Like, it was no doubt in my mind that he was going to be a superstar. Like, you can tell. Everybody can tell. You know, if you met him one time and you know his character and you know he's outspoken, you know he's a superstar. So, with that being said, I, for one, am glad that I had the privilege of meeting Mr. James Gordon. Working with Mr. James Gordon, laughing with James Gordon, and sometimes crying on his shoulder. Not on his shoulder physically, but you know, you all have some issues, and he's like a big brother. He can absorb it, he can take it all, and give you some words of wisdom and encouragement. So, we all love you, James. Uh, glad to have you on the team, part of Pat Dart. Thank you for having me as part of Pat Dart. And it's phenomenal. Look what you did. Look what you did, man. Ah, see that? Yeah. More to come. There's more to come. Congratulations, brother. We all love you. Act Act Dark, you're a leader, the fearless leader, and we love you. We salute you today, brother. All right. Keep it going. Get to know Hard Drive Publishing's youngest author, Eddie D. The Awesome Times. Follow a school newspaper as it investigates the mystery of a Rob Sushi store and read other stories along the way. A unique concept from an extraordinary child. This will not be the last of what we hear from this talented young lady, so stay tuned. But for now, pick up your copy of The Awesome Times at your favorite bookstore, Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Kindle, Nook, Apple Books, and more. Just like as a poet, he paid his dues as an actor as well. One thing I've never seen him personally do while paying his dues is complain. All right, maybe. So um, I started doing background work. I did background for a few years. Um, just, you know, hey, and it was a good experience meeting people, being on set with, quote, unquote, actors and celebrities and such. Um, and just being in the atmosphere of something I never thought I would do. And then it hit me. Like I, I, I did a couple of films. Like I said, I'm, I'm green. Um, I'm, I'm real green. I have no clue. My instincts are the only thing carrying me. Uh, and so I started doing a couple of films, and then I got a couple of commercials, and then 
I wound up on Steve Harvey's show with uh, Megan Good and her husband, Javon Franklin. And then right after that, I did another movie. And then I got an agent. And then I started doing commercials and doing plays and stuff. And then, boom, I got my role on Chicago Fire. Now, wait a minute. Before, before, before we go there, I'm de- everybody know, do not let this brother cut your hair. <laughs> if you want to talk about Chicago Fire, this brother be back. Do not let me get you. He knows who I'm talking about. <laughs> I do. I do. I love that. I scene. do. I love it. I really did. Oh, my God. Uh, everybody still reads me about that, too. He, he, <laughs> and the reference that HD is making is to uh, season six, episode 20 of Chicago Fire, where I played Andy the Barber, a.k.a. the Southside Butcher. And I cut a guy's ear off. <laughs> so it was, it was hilarious to be on set. And do that and see that happen and what have you. But yeah, um, and so now it's it's my thing. I'm a reoccurring role on uh, Amazon's The G as Officer Smiley. I'm the best dressed detective on Amazon. And this season three, I really go up a notch. Everything that James achieves is all because of his hard work and determination. Now his credits include The G from Amazon, short film One Scares an Evil Clown, and the recent Amazon series that's about to premiere called Clarity. But the list goes on and on. He's been in so many other things. And my brother has an IMDb page. You can access it by looking up his name on IMDb. And I'll even put the link on my media page at www.hcamermedia.com immediately after this presentation. At the time of the filming, James shared these special pictures of himself as Elder Three, a.k.a. the Sorcerer Supreme, in a sci-fi film called Utopia. Here's a clip of Chicago Man in which he plays the character Kent Taylor. I'm not giving away who Kent Taylor is, and I'm not going any further with spoilers. You're going to have to watch Chicago Man and the other shows I mentioned to find out what James is doing. With that, James performed his own Justice League on Facebook, so to speak, in which I'm proud to be a part of called Act Pack Darts. This is a culmination of writers, actors, actresses, promoters, entrepreneurs, and other artists with one goal, to assist each other in going to the top and getting to the top with their talents, just like the Justice League works as a team to achieve goals with each of their talents. And when we come back, the conclusion. James Gordon, when I think of him, I just think of just pure talent, realness, rawness. He gives you everything he has, no matter what project he's on. I've learned so much from him. He is not just a friend, not just an actor, but he is a brother to me. So James, just everything that you've done has been very inspirational. I thank you for even giving me great advice to help me become a better actress. So thank you, James. Do you have a friend reunion coming up? Is there a company picnic in your future? Or does your sports team need to stand out? Then look no further than Sassy Shirt Shop. Let her create that one of a kind shirt, jersey, ball cap, or jacket for you or your group needs. Call Sassy at 314-229-7163 for a quote. You can also log on to her website at www.sassyshirtshop.com and place your order. She's even on Facebook. Professional service at reasonable prices. It's Fancy Shirt Shop. See you soon. Everyone falls in love in a different way. The way you see or feel love may not be seen or felt the same way as the person next to you. Those give way to your Hidden Desires. Written by author C. Love. Follow the story of Shayla, her husband Phil, and Shell, along with their friends as the two of them give in to their hidden desires. It's a sensual, erotic journey that will leave you craving more. Oh, and yes, there is a sequel coming in 2022. In the meantime, what is your hidden desire? Check out Hidden Desires at Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Kindle, 
Nook, and at your favorite bookstore. Welcome back. This is where I give the author the final word, but since this is about the man of the hour, I will give my final words. James is a man who's been scoring with me from day one. He never lied to me. If he ever said he was going to do something, he did it. His drive is one we all can be proud of. I can speak for everyone in the Pack Dark, friends, and family that James has been ready for prime time since his first poetry show. Thank you, James, for being part of our lives, and we're looking forward to see what you have to offer in the future. That's the show. God bless. Thank you. And as always, let your writing fuel your spirit, and God bless you. HD Television is on the air. You're watching an HD Television production.